David Lowry with Club Fantasy. Today we are looking at Beast Clans and we're going to do a quick playthrough of a few rounds for you to get an idea of how this game plays as it's coming to Kickstart very soon. First thing I want to do is talk a little bit about the setup. There's a deck of 40 cards each. Each person has a royal that comes out uh, and there are three different types of royal, well three royals at three different levels. And at the same time they will flip these over so everybody knows who's playing what. As you can see, there's level 1s on them. There is 250 life, and they create 8 biomass per round, which is the money to use to purchase additional cards. Um, they also have an ability here that you can use, and they both have a biomass cost. And then they have an evolution ability, which is what allows them to level up during the game. I've set out a couple beads and some of my handy-dandy guitar picks here to track how many hits somebody takes or how many uses equipment gets. Each player starts out with four cards in their deck and eight biomass over here. And that's how you start. The first thing you always do is you're going to have a biomass step. Well, when you set up the game, it's already kind of set up that way, right? The next thing you do is you do upkeep. Every card except for weapons has an upkeep cost. So if you want to keep that card in play, you have to pay that upkeep cost out of the biomass you're going to get that round. The next thing they have is the evolution step. Does your royalty qualify right then to upgrade their character? And then the next thing you do is just draw a card. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to go ahead and start with Prince LaFrog over here. The other thing you might want to do is have pen and paper uh, to keep track of their health because this is not going to be enough when you got 250 health. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we have this written down properly. 250 each. Okay. Obviously you can use your mobile device or whatever else you may need. So we've already gone through the first part of the steps and now we go into play. And this plays pretty much like any other uh, card game, whether it be a TCG or a CCG or an LCG. So now look at what I can afford. And whenever you play a beast into uh, play out here, into the field, unless it has a rush capability like this one, which will cost me one biomass, and I'll signify that by putting the biomass under, it would not be able to attack that round, but this one does have rush, so I will be able to do that. And I will go ahead and also put uh, Praying Manti out there for the cost of four biomass. So, I can play as many cards as I want as long as I have the biomass to pay for it. I can also activate any abilities that happen to come out at this time. When Praying Manti comes out, he automatically gives my Royal plus 30 health. So we will put that on there as 280. He gets to rush right away. He does not get to attack. So he is going to go ahead and attack for 20. That's his might. That's his life. So he has 20 might, which is his attack, and 20 life. That's what it takes to kill him, obviously. So he will hit Princess Shadowstock for 20 points. And he is done. He can no longer attack. He can no longer attack. The royalty, when they're attacked, cannot attack back unless they have armor attached to them. And that's only a defensive attack. So they will never attack each other. They will never attack other beasts that come out into the field. When you're playing the game, you cannot have more than three beasts in the field. If you do, you have to discard one and keep it at a maximum of three. And also, if you're at a time, ever at a time, where you don't have any cards in your hand, you can draw two cards to replenish your hand. Alright, so, now, his ability is if he pays three biomass, when an opponent discards a card, your beasts get plus 10 might and life until the end of the round. Well, he doesn't have any beasts, so wouldn't it? made any sense to activate that op that uh, um, ability at that time. So now the right of play is going to pass to him because there's nothing left that Prince LaFrog can do. So we will go ahead and draw a card and look at what we have. We know we have uh, 8 biomass and so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and pay for Samurai Armor which is going to cost me 4 of that biomass. One, two, three, four. And I'm attaching it to the prince. I'm going to go ahead and put um, Jokol and Jokol out for another four. 
So it's two each. So I've used up all my biomass, which means I can't pay for anything else if there's an ability that requires biomass. Neither of these two are able to rush, so they will not be able to attack, but they are guardians. And what that means is when somebody declares an attack against that character, the guardian gets to decide who it defends, not the person. Normally the person attacking gets to decide who attacks. But if there's a guardian in the field, they get to pick who they're blocking. All right. This armor over here has three uses, and it does 20 damage when um, when it uh, when somebody attacks the, the royalty. So now their turn is over because there's nothing else that they can do. They could have passed the right of play, which would allow them to um, use any abilities, but there isn't anything that we're going to do for that right now either. So play comes back over here. We do the biomass step. He's got five on the field, which he wants to keep, so basically he has three biomass left over, so that's going to use up all that, and that pretty much takes care of the upkeep phase. Now he has to look and see, does he match the evolution phase? His evolution is they need uh, 50 might to level him up, and he has 30 here, and he has 20 here, so yes, he does meet that evolution phase requirement. So he comes off, and level 2, Prince LaFrog comes in. Now his ability is 4-3 biomass, target loses... I'm sorry, I can't read it. Target beast uh, or royal gains plus 20 life. Which is basically the same thing that he had before, except for it costs one less biomass to implement it. Now for his next evolution step, there has to be a total of 80 might out here for him to get to level 3, which is the last level that he can go up to. So, I've got three biomass. Um, I've got to draw a card and see what my options are. Da -da -da -da. All right. As far as I know from the rules, you can't attack the royalty if there's somebody blocking you. So I think you would have to attack both. If one of these guardians was not there, uh, you'd have to get through the guardian before you could attack. Um, so what I want to do is I want to play one lady spots right there for one biomass. I want to activate his ability um, of giving everybody 20 life. Target beast, or I shouldn't say everybody, one person gets plus 20 life. So we will go ahead and give Praying Mantis plus 20 life. Um, so right now he's at 60 life. And we're going to go ahead and attack with all three of these particular uh, creatures. So the Guardians... Um, We'll just go ahead and block these two, because these two are relevant, right? They're exactly the same. So he's going to do 30 damage to him, which is going to kill him, and he's going to go ahead and hit him for 10. So he's going to take 10 damage, so he's got 50 life left. He is going to go ahead and do 10 damage to him, and he's going to take 2 hits, because he's plus 20. He gets through, so he gets to hit him for another 20. So minus 20, so he's down to 260. And... He loses a use of the armor, but the armor does 20 damage back to him, which kills him. So he gets discarded. The biomass comes back to this pile. This is all going to be there. And that's all I can do. Everybody is attacked. Everything is defended. Uh, nobody discarded, so his ability doesn't matter. None of these had any extra special abilities that would have mattered in this particular round. So his turn is done. We come back to Princess Darkwing. They do the biomass round. There's eight biomass, so there's four on the table, right? There's four here. Do they want to keep the samurai armor? Do they want to keep these people out? Yes, they do. So that's going to take up all the biomass that he uh, regained that round just to keep them out there in the upkeep phase. We look at the royal. Uh, when your opponent has two cards in his hand, he levels up. I don't. I have three. So he's going to draw a card. Uh, he can't afford to play any of the cards, so that none of that is going to matter. And he gets to go ahead and decide, well, do I want to attack, or do I just want to defend? Well, I think he does want to attack. He's got armor, he's feeling, you know, that people aren't going to be as willing to maybe attack him. Um, he needs to regain some of that biomass anyway to be able to uh, purchase stronger characters to bring him out. So he is going to declare an attack. None of these people here are guardians, so he gets to choose who hits who. So, at this point, it pretty much really doesn't matter. Both of these characters are going to die when they attack. 
the man, you know, but they will definitely want to weaken him up and uh, do that. So he's just going to attack straight ahead. So he's going to do 10 damage, which will kill Lady Spots. And he's going to do 20, which will kill him. So both of these characters come off. Into their discard piles. Their biomass goes back to their biomass. And then Joe Call is going to go ahead and hit the, the Praying and Manti for 10 more points. And he's going to do 30 damage to him, which will kill him. Ooh, uh, that, that is a mistake, actually. He does beasts that take damage from him do 20. So he actually takes another. That would have corrected the last hit as well. So he's down to, he would have taken 40. Normally that would have killed him, but he's got the 20 from the bonus that he got from him. So he's still alive, but he's definitely weaker than he was. And he gets killed. All right, there's no return attack. Nothing else he can do. So um, when you're playing these uh, things, when he attacks and he activates his ability, he has, the, he has the opportunity to go ahead and activate that ability as well. So he actually could have paid biomass, if he had had any, to give somebody more life to keep him in the game. But we're sitting okay still all right now, so we're not going to do that. So right of play comes back over here to Prince of Frog. We look at the biomass cost. He's got four on the table. He now generates 10 biomass. So we have four here, which means two more biomass comes into the game for him. So he's sitting at six biomass since he's going to go ahead and pay that upkeep cost of keeping the Prey and Manti on the table. He does not have enough might to uh, meet his evolution phase, so we go or evolution step, so we go ahead and draw a new card. And we have got. Da -da -da. We have got this neat little guy. We got Great Horns, who's going to cost me three. He is a guardian, so he will get that blocking defense that we talked about before. And we will go ahead and we will put out Bamboo Batons as a weapon, which will cost three biomass. Um, and we'll put three uses on that. Now, in the rule book, it says. When declaring an attack, that you declare what weapons are being used and whatever. So that to me implies that these weapons can be used by anybody and they're not necessarily attached to a character. In that instance, I always want to leave it with that princess, so I'm going to do that. In this instance, I want to use it with him as he attacks. There is nobody to block right now for Princess Darkwing. Uh, guard Horns can't do anything because he just came into the field. There was no immediate ability that was played. Um, we're going to go ahead and attack, and this one here says, You may discard a card from your hand. If you do, Bamboo Batons gains plus 20 might on that attack. So I will discard a card. I'm going to go ahead and discard that castle. And now we're going to hit for 50 points of damage on Princess Darkwing. That's going to use up one of those uses. So he's got two uses of that left. Um, this is going to use up one of the armors, and he's going to take... 20 points of damage, which will kill him. I don't have the biomass to give him more life, so he is going to go ahead and die. And that's 50 points of damage, bringing, oops, that's the wrong one, bringing uh, Princess Shadowstock down to 180. Actually, it'd be 160 because I did 20 there when I should have. All right, so it's down to 160. All right, so. Princess Shadowstock is getting hammered, right? Um, it's helping a little bit to have the armor in the sense that it might get these beasts off the field a little quicker, but um, so far nobody's been able to touch Prince Lefrog, so he is still at his 280 um, total strength. But his turn is now done. We come back over here. We do our biomass, which is 8. We're keeping the armor there for four, so he should have four biomass sitting in the pile, and he does. So that takes care of the biomass phase and the upkeep phase. We have two cards in their hand. I have one card in my hand, not two. So again, he does not level up. But he does draw a card. He's got four biomass. And the idea here is to see what we can do, right? What can we do? Um, Mm -mm -mm. That doesn't really work that well. We will 
go ahead and play this Guardian. It's going to cost us three biomass, leaving one left over. Alright, and he cannot attack this round, so there's nothing else that they can really do, and I don't have another card that I can afford to play at this particular point. So Rite of Plague comes back over here to Prince Lefrog. We look at the biomass, he's got 10, so he's got 3 there, he's got 3 there, that's 6, so he should have 4 sitting there. So our biomass phase is done, because we are keeping those on the field for upkeep. Uh, we don't have 80 might on there, so there's no evolution phase. We're going to draw a card. And da -da 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 -da. we got 4 and 4. So we'll go ahead and play... Praying Manti again for 4 biomass and he gives him 30 life when he enters play. So now Prince Lefrog is sitting at 310 life. Now as far as I know there's nothing in the rules that says this doesn't happen that I can find. There is no limit to the amount of health that a uh, prince or beast can have. Um, if there is, I've completely missed that, but at this point I don't see that happening. If you find out otherwise, please go ahead and uh, correct it in the notes below, or the comments below. Alright, so, Praying Mentai cannot attack this round. Guard Horns can attack, and um, if I discard a card, I could increase that Might by 10 points, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that empty on cards. So. He has to attack him first, so it's going to be using this, it's going to give him plus 10 might, and it's a total of 40 against 40. He is going to take 10 damage from that attack, but that guardian is now gone. And if there was a follow-up attack, which there is not, because nobody has a double tap ability in this particular uh, scenario, and he cannot attack since he just came out, we cannot hint, we cannot hit Princess Darkwing. So, that round is over, play moves back over to Princess Darkwing, and biomass is 8, we've got 4 on the table, we've got 4 sitting here, because nothing has changed as far as paying for something different. We do not have 2 cards in our hand, so the evolution phase, or step, does not take place. Draw a card, and we will go ahead and play 2 beasts, for 2 each. So when Limardini comes out, his royal gains 50 life. So that was a nice little bonus. And when Pink Shot comes out, that player gets to draw a card. So now we have to go over here and add plus 50 life. So Shadow Stock is back up to 210 points. Alright, and we'll do this last final round so you can kind of see uh, finishing this up. All right, so what do we got? None of those can attack, so none of that's going to happen. Last round, coming back over here, biomass. He creates 10. We've got 4 here, we've got 3 here, which is 7. We've got 3 here is 10. We're going to keep that the way it is so we don't get any new biomass, and um, we don't... Actually, there'd be one biomass to me. Um, or I just didn't put it under a card. So right now, we've actually used all 10 biomass. Um, yeah, so that's all done. And we do, well, the question is, is do we level up? We've got 30 might, we've got 30 might, and we have 10 might. So no, we do not uh, level up in our evolution step. We will draw a card. So here's the deal. I know that if I keep two cards, and I can't afford to pay for these cards, that he's going to get to level up. Do I want him to do that? No, I do not want him to do that. So what I want to do is I'm going to attack. Um... I have to attack these creatures right there, but I'm going to go ahead and discard that card so that I can activate this for an extra 10 might. So he's going to attack this gentleman, he's going to attack this gentleman, and we will go ahead and attack with, um, it doesn't matter because either way it's going to kill. I just did not want to activate that ability. Um, so I think that was the third and final use of that particular card. So he'll just go ahead and, you know, he's doing. 40 damage to him, and he's doing 10 damage to him. Alright, so this character gets killed off. Biomass goes there. 
This gentleman is doing 30 damage to him, which is going to kill him, and he's going to go ahead and do 10 damage to him. So he gets killed off. This guy goes there. There's not enough left to do any attacking with, but that weapon is now used. That biomass goes back into the pile. And one final turn for Princess Darkwing. We see that, again, generating 8. We have 4 here. We have 4 here. There's not two cards sitting here, so that step does not happen. We draw a card, and we have to hope that something happens that is really, really good, but nothing really did happen that's really, really good. We will go ahead and play two biomass to bring out Pink Shot, which allows us to draw a card, which I might want to check before. Um, and so that does change what I would have done, right? If I had not done that, that would have changed things. But it allows me to play another Lemertini for two biomass, which gives this royal another 50 points of life, bringing it back up to 260. So, what I would have done is I would have played this Comet Rising, which is a weather card, which is a one-time use that goes over here, and it would have gained that, that would have gave my royal 50 life, but this card did the same thing, and it brought a beast in the field for protection and attack. So, there it is. There is a quick run through of Beast Clans. It is coming to Kickstarter very, very soon. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave comments uh, below or go to beastclans.com and leave comments there on their website. There, um, I do believe the Kickstarter is coming out uh, Monday, so take a look at that. I'm David Lowry with Club Banasai. I want to thank boardgametables.com for this table. They do sponsor us, so this table is from them. So if you're interested in a game table, please take a look at BoardGameTables.com. They have lovely, beautiful tables. David Lowry with ClubFantasy.com. On behalf of Beast Clans, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the game.